his day, Sokolov was Dunwall's genius. His inventions transformed the city. I watched from the tower as they changed the capital into a prison, and listened as he drank and laughed, telling my mother time and again how brilliant he was. After her death, Sokolov's inventions helped a tyrant take control of the Empire. Now, all these years later, Kirin Jindosh is Karnaka's genius. The mad inventor who's given the Duke sinister machines that move like people but aren't. Clockwork soldiers that fight and kill. I've got to find out where Sokolov's being held and bring the old man back alive. Rescue one genius and kill the other before he creates an army of clockwork soldiers. Alright, looks like that's our mission now. Let's see where we ended up. Are we in the Outsider Dream again? Wall check! Okay, looks like we're in uh, normal time. Note from Megan Foster and a heavy pouch. Alright, we'll be right back with this and after I take a little bit of a break. All right, we're back, and so I think our goal is to go talk to the captain about this inventor guy. But first, we have some loot. Ooh, 100 coins. Note from Megan Foster. Dr. Patient needed a place to sleep, so I cleared the stuff out of the spare cabin. I was able to sell most of it. Here's what's left of the money. It's not a lot I know. Whale oil is expensive and under imperial rationing decree, but you know that. Megan Foster. Oh, huh, awesome. So that's really cool that the uh, doctor has moved in. So it's kind of a good thing that I decided to spare her and, uh, you know, cure her from Mr. Hyde rather than kill her. Uh, that's the same goodbye thing. Travel log. We're just going to scan through this so you guys can read it if you want, because, uh... Wait, have we already... We've already read that one. Investigating the Adermeyer Institute. Yeah. Crown Killer is no more. Next, Jindosh. Finally uncovered how my enemies created the Crown Killer, but what better way to erode confidence in me before the coup? If I had stopped to think about it for a few minutes, maybe I could have kept my people's trust. But that would have required patience, and my advisors always remind me that I have none of that particular trait. But to use her own serum against her, horrible. Happy I found a curse. She's a brilliant alchemist. Now she can contribute to her re... Search to help the people of Circanos. All right. All right, actually, let me scan through the rest of that uh, entry so that way you guys can read it if you want to pause, but... There's a lot of reading in this game. And there we are. Actually, there was something about Callista in there. Hold on. Uh. Oh, I also find myself thinking Callista, my old governess. She always wanted to travel the world on a boat. Eventually, she left Dunwall, then stopped writing a few months later. Aww. It's wonderful run into her again. Still no reflection in the mirror. Quick check of the loot sense. Nothing else hidden in here. I just want Anton back here, safe and sound. How did that old fool come to mean so much to me? Well, hello, Captain. Maintenance list. Train engine room. Another week, another leak. I said hours on it, couldn't get it stopped. I'll shut the water off, assuming I can find the crank wheel. Something to deal with once Sokolov is safe. Check bridge tubing, done. Haul down oil, done. Buy onions, done. Wow. I wonder if the onions are for maintenance stuff or that she just needed onions you for dinner. You want to talk to Hypatia before we head out. She's taken one of the rooms. Just for a while, I think. Needed to be away from Ademeyer. Dr. Hypatia seems better than when she first showed up. That's good to know. 
All right. So what is this engine room? The dreams were stronger. Is it a sign of Ooh, recovery? Or? She's got a whole crate of the Relapse. healing or the magic potions for me. All right. Let's go take a look down in the engine room. Oop. No, I don't want to. What the hell, game? At the time, it thinks I want to exit the game. Nothing stands. Well, that is a leak. Um, I don't know how to fix that. I'm not really a uh, engineer. <laughs> I could stab it and see if that helps, but uh, and that doesn't look good. I don't think you should have steam coming out of that. Um, Now, it's not like a bone charm or a rune or something stuck in the pipe causing it. Does this do anything? No. I like how there's, like, just wrenches and stuff, like, holding all the pipes together. Oh, attach crank wheel. Oh, I have to go find a crank wheel. Okay, that makes more sense. Alright, if I was a crank wheel, would I be under the stairs? Megan must be up on deck. Well, let's talk with uh, Dr. Hypatia first, and then we'll go look around for the crank wheel. Oh, you're here. Stay with me a moment. Oh, you don't go all Dr. Hyde again. Or Mr. Hyde. Dr. Hypatia, can you remember anything that might help me? I need to find Anton Sokolov. He could be the key to unraveling the Duke's plans. My memories are disjointed. No, oh, not the, the music. The Duke is close to his grand inventor. Kieran Jindosh. But that man has the empathy of a mantis. He seems to both admire and despise Sokolov. We visited Aramis Stilton. I liked him. But something bad happened. Okay. You probably killed him. Just snatches a memory. Sorry. You should rest easy for a while. Maybe some of that will help. I hope so. I'm not sure ah, I even fully understand there. what Oof. you did for me. Safe. But I owe you for helping me at Adamire. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm oh, good. Well, we'll save those for another uh, time when I need them. Reagent bottle, cider. She has all kinds of good stuff. My dreams are still filled with visions. Some of which I'd sooner forget. I didn't break it. Not my fault. I don't know how the hell I jiggled that out of the crate, but somehow it came out of the crate. Dr. Hypatia's notes. On a boat. With friends, I believe. I slept, thankfully, without the usual nightmares. Perhaps the sea air does me good. Captain Megan Foster brought me some tea earlier. Such an interesting woman. She seemed to understand about my strange, disjointed memories and the feelings of dread that accompany them. As soon as I am able, I must return to Adamire. So much of the last few months seems a blur. What was I accomplishing? What of my research into serums for the Black Spittle? My work was so easily disrailed, I can only conclude that I was suffering from a complete exhaustive breakdown. I will need time to recover. Oh, do you have a, a crank wheel for the engine room in here? No. That's yeah, probably somewhere out on deck or something. Not in the bathroom. Okay. Lecture on bloodfly fever. Yeah, we've already read all these things. Yeah. Empty bottles. Ooh. That looks tasty. Oh. There. Ramsey and the Crown Killer. Two pieces of the puzzle. More to go. Any new notes? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, Crown Killer's gone. Still going for after the Duke. 
Why does Jindosh need Sokoloff? And this is... To reach Jindosh, I'll have to take the carriage through lower, then upper Aventa. Oh, goody. We get to go take a long trip. Karnaka's mechanical marvels conquer the world. Alright. After last week's disaster, the Grand Inventor Kieran Jindosh circulated the following information related to his Clockwork Soldiers. All Grand Guard personnel should read this report. Clockwork Soldiers protected by armored wooden plates. If some discreet and destroys these, there's nothing protecting the vulnerable mechanisms underneath. Okay. If something knocks off the Clockwork's head, the thing will attack anyone it can, ally or not. That means you. I'm so glad he gave this, like, detailed step-by-step -step instruction sheet to how to destroy his own robots. In the expensive optics Mr. Jinjosh has provided each clockwork with, you, they can see in the front and in the back. Remember that if another one of them goes haywire. Alright, so you can't sneak up on them. Some fool is able to get close enough, there's a small panel on each clockwork that can be rewired, which will invert the perception of friend and foe. Again, that means you get attacked. Keep these things in mind, the clockworks will be an asset, not a liability. Interesting. I need to get some rewire tools, then. Have uh, we read that book? Yep. Uh, anything new in here? Crank wheel? Crank wheel? Gears. Sparking control panel. And down there. Oh, crank wheel! Alright, we found it. And this looks like it's all the same. Huh! Whoa. Um, that's an interesting little bug. <laughs> Broke that glass so hard it doesn't even sit right when it's broken. Alright, looks like we got everything from here. stopped. I don't like the fact that that is making a whole bunch of jittery noises now, though. I'm just gonna walk away before that explodes. <laughs> Where's that music coming from? Is that just the background? Let's go check up in the captain's cabin, see if there's anything new this week. She says anything new in her diary. Oh, there's another crank wheel, just in case we didn't find the first one. Megan Foster's notebook. Starting to understand why Anton wanted to go to Dunwall to seek Emily's help. She's impressive. I have to wonder if she's really suited for palace life. Maybe she wonders that herself sometimes. We could have been good friends at a time when I was running across the rooftops like she is now, watching my enemies from the shadows. I just hope she's breathing tomorrow morning so I can complain when she puts her dusty boots up on the table again. I've lost so many friends. First, my sweet Deirdre, Deirdre, along with others along the way. Good old Aramis Stilton, who disappeared three years ago, and now Anton. Maybe this is pu my punishment. I'm bad luck. Please, Emily, bring him back. Well, no problem for that. Is that another picture of Sokolov? And the weird time he actually shaved his beard? Alright, one more check to see if there's anything. Lootable. It's a cool ship, though, I've gotta say. Alright, looks like we have an easier time heading out this time. Oh, also, the sailors on the dock said they were going to probably come for your boat, so, uh, yeah, you may want to grab a gun or something. Let's hope your friend doesn't sink the boat while we're gone. Ready? Um... Just Not quickly yet. make sure... Suit yourself. Is that everything we need to do? Yeah, alright, so we fixed the leak, and that was about the only thing we had to do here. Do we have any powers we can get? I have three runes, so I could... Ooh, I could get triple domino. 
We already got two levels of that. I don't want to turn them into blood flies because I'm trying to keep civilians alive. I could get the guards pathing. That might be interesting. I could also get grab objects from far away. That could be useful. Um, too expensive for doppelganger, too expensive for shadow walk. Mesmerize is really expensive. Could get a couple levels of bone charm crafting. So let's see, if I get five total bone charms, I can get... Um, yeah. So five bone charms will let me get all the way to tier three crafting, whatever that is. I don't still don't understand how it, understand how it works, but it'll let me get Ready. a lot of perks without having a downside. Ready. All think, right. Let's get underway. Especially considering most of my current bone charms only have a single perk, I wouldn't mind having triple perks because then I can get like all the mana regen possible, and I can just go nuts with my mana use because it'll instantly regen. We'll see. Once we get into the mission, we'll see kind of, you know... Oh, this situation, I need my long reach grab or whatever, and then we can see. Oh, I keep forgetting this is an instant uh, load screen. Ooh, Jindosh sewers. Is important to the Duke's inner circle. The Grand Guard watches his mansion, and they'll call down the entire city if they find out who you are. I'll make sure they don't. You said there's a wall of light cutting off access to the carriage station? Yes, but there's a black market shop nearby. They sell on the sly. Ever use a rewiring tool? Corvo taught me the theory. Good. Get past the wall of light, then ride the carriage to where Jindosh lives. And there's a reason people are afraid of his mansion. I'll get it done. Emily, take care of this crazy man and his clockwork soldiers, then bring Sokolov back. He means a lot to me. I, I have kind of understood that from your repeated needings to get him back. Alright, so it looks like he wants me to go that way, so I'm going this way. That's a dead bodyguard. But, mmm, raw whalebone and rotten fig. Delicious. Anything else here? Doesn't look like it. Anything in the water? No. Oh, wait. There's stuff in the water. Maybe not lootable stuff, but containers and things. Yeah, I guess there's nothing to loot in the water. All right, can I get up onto the dock from here? Come on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. If I was going to hide something, it'd be in this pipe. Nope, there's nothing in there. Right now. see what we got over here. Flee, rats, before I find out how to make whalebone charms that let me eat you again. Looks like someone's got a whole production set up down here. So, one second. I'm gonna turn my mouse sensitivity down, because I am just all over stuff. View sensitivity X. Let's go down that way. Ah, much better. That's a lot smoother when I'm looking side to side. No trespassing. Not too bad for you. Just hoping for more loot, but it does not seem like there's anything else to grab. Oh! Oh, that's an alarm clock. Aw. Oh, hello. Here we are. I would not have seen that if I had not had that loot sense on. Anything in our dumpster? Nope. Nice. 
Tibian ore. The way out. More loot over here. Oh, is this a rewire tool? No, it's just a random engine. Interesting. Whose workshop did we pull into? It's a lot of gears and stuff. This guy. Interesting. So, is there a way for me to boost, like, the sound of people talking? Speech volume is a hundred. All right. What do we do? Is we'll just drop the rest of these down a bit. I can't hear what half of the things they end up saying over microphones or in conversations because the background sound of the game is so loud. Oh, that's a blood fly infested place. Good, we know how to take care of blood flies. Oh yeah, runes and bone charms. Let's see what we're missing. Just All right. Once I'd like to see her buy the drinks. Just one time. So we have an altar. We got a black bone charm, a rune, bone charm, rune, and bone charm. Ah, oh, I didn't get more information on Hypatia with the heart. That's what I wanted to do. He has a charming smile. That's how he gets them to trust him. A terrible mistake. I've already told you about this man. Her mom, she had them convinced she was their niece, just off the boat from Alba, until they learned her niece's boat had gone down in a storm. There's nothing more to say about her. This one? They only do business with him because they fear what will happen if they don't. Your face is covered. The Grand Guard won't like that. There is nothing more about him. Not that I can see. She's about to be faithful to him. But that was ages ago. And he was handsomer then. He regrets that the people are getting hurt. But there's profit in it. So he will continue. Wow, we found the whole. Oh, yep, everyone's just good people here. So let's see, there's that potion if I wanted to break the glass, and that's about it. Alright, what do we got? Three nests, two nests. Well, this will be fun. Don't want these getting outside. Alright, any on the first floor, are they all upstairs? Uh, looks like two nests. Crown Killer is watching. No, they're not anymore. We took care of that. <laughs> well, I was hoping that Firebolt would kill more of them. Oh, that's a big mess. Ooh, Blood Amber, though. 
I haven't seen people in the comments mention that sometimes the blood, like, it, they thought the blood amber was not produced by hives that, you, hives that you burn, but I've done both burning and slashing and gotten bone, or the blood amber, so. A good thought, but, like, I'm gonna actually burn these hives to prove my point. And of course, neither of them is gonna have blood amber. Thanks for helping me prove my point, guys. Any alive blood flies left? No. Looks like we cleared out the infestation. Good. I'll take your sleep darts. Definitely can't say no to extra sleep darts. They don't seem to show up nearly as often, and you don't have nearly as many of them as if you had, as we had in the first game. I'll top off, grab the Adermeyer solution. I keep thinking the flies around that guy's corpse are the uh, blood flies, but they aren't. Seance notes. About the songs, Lady Cotton and brought silk scarves from her boutique. One of which Mr. Prospero used to gently strangle her. Wow. I maintained a count of her pulse and observed her breathing. When the signs of life faded, we left her still for two full minutes before reviving her. Was it really the void she described? Have we succeeded in seeing the unseeable? My hand trembles as I recall the intensity in her eyes as she struggled to recount with a broken voice what she felt during those two minutes. On the first, I convinced our little group that less gentle methods were needed if our desire to meet the outsider were sincere. Bloodfly fever voluntarily induced. This will be our way to the void. To producing a few blood flies and some Adamire solution, we coated our hands with the elixir before exposing them to the virilium. Vivarium? Singing was unbearable. Lady Cotton had fainted immediately. I was the last one to remove my hands. Fear was quick to set in. As I faded in and out of consciousness, ocean waves pounded above me. There were silhouettes in the distance and shimmering black rocks. A timeless passing in an unthinkable place while a delirium held us for a few hours. I must get back there as soon as possible when my wounds have healed. Okay, crazy people. The trick to really getting the outsider's attention? Be interesting. God, there's just blood flies everywhere. Some tip. Oh, lucky sapphire. All right. Take some of that. Anything else? Another book upstairs. No hive keeper this time. Interesting, though. Curious that there would be this. Oh, I can't get into the door unless I jump up through the window. All right. <sighs> What did I hurt myself with? Interesting. Take some bath salts. Got a dead body. The outsider shrine. We can find a little bit more uh, out about these seance people before we uh, go looking in. Whispers of the, from the void. Have a story a person has stopped breathing, pinned under carriage wheels or some other tragic happenstance, and thought to be dead, but when the weight is removed, they made a quick recovery. Yeah, everyone says the same stories. They all see that. Oh. They all end up finding the void. Whispers in the void, too. Yeah, all the, all the visions were the same. And yeah, it must be true. Yeah, we've read these before. Is there anything else worth grabbing here? Oh, I apparently missed some whalebone. And some papers of some sort? Interesting. Looks like a coin, too. See, the, the this, like, dark vision works better through walls than it does when you're in the room with the stuff. Alright, Outsider, what do you have to say today? I'll tell you a story about Kirin Jindosh, the Duke's grand inventor. 
Once he was commissioned to make a toy for a six-year Tivian noble girl. Jindosh worked for three months and built a machine composed of wood, brass, and the bones of several cats. It ran on a few drops of whale oil a day. The little girl was told she would have a special treat, and she was perfectly delighted until the moment it was activated. She lives at an asylum up at Dabakfa now, and will until the end of her days. Oh, fun! Well, we're now up to five. Oops. Didn't mean to knock that over. My bad. So we could go get our bone charm crafting ability. I mean, we are going to get some more whalebone right here. As we figure out where downstairs that was. I swear, because I saw it. But now I don't see it. I'm not going crazy. Like, I did see the whalebone. Is it like a building over? Oh. It's right there. Must be next door. See, we follow this. This goes down to here. And the whalebone should Oh! It's right on the counter! Dear. Oh! Totally missed that coin pouch and coin. Alright, there we go. I think we got everything now. There's another Adamire solution, but I don't feel like breaking the glass on a storefront in front of people to get it, because I'm already full on them, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, next up, we have a Bone Charm across the street. This place has changed a lot over the years, and not for the better. Last week, one of the glass blowers got murdered by the She's howlers. Dogs breakfast no one the whole is safe. Thing. And who's got to clean it up? Me, of course, uh. as always. A friend of mine got killed by bloodflies, so I take him real serious. As you were sitting in a house right next to where they used to be. I got no kids, no wife, neither. There was a girl once, but she left. <laughs> Thanks for telling me your random life story. Man. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to take the uh, high road on this one. Now we're all on edge. My heart can't take much more of this. Gonna be on the human side for a while. Thanks for the weather report, random civilian. Maybe I ought to try some of those sleeping tinctures, but they can be kind of pricey. Well, there's a dead body in there, so this will be interesting. What now? Did someone hear some thunder or something? <gasps> Crystal apple, yum. That's a dead guard. Um, an elite one, no less. Silver war medal? Ooh, this is a good room to go into. Letter to Bonville. Mayor Bonville, or Major Bonville. Thank you again for your help. Without you, it would have been possible to trace the final members of the Grand Guard who were with the Stilton last night, that night three years ago. 
Last man had made it all the way north to May Maya, if you believe it, and was recovering at a Tivian asylum for the poor, claiming to have seen all manner of strange things on the night of Stilton's last social gathering. He even described an exotic hooded figure visiting the manor, perhaps someone connected to Stilton's disappearance. Such matters are best left to military men such as yourself, I suppose. Wonder if that was Dowd? We'll have your bank agent's name and address. Rest assured... I, or, I still have your bank agent's name and address. Rest assured your final payment will be delivered soon. I'm also sending a small flask of liquor that is close to my heart, made from pumice left over after wine grapes have been pressed. Please think of me as you enjoy. Yours truly, Brenna Ashworth. Did she poison the wine? Eh, I don't know. Blast resistant. I mean, maybe these robots have, like, grenade launchers or something? They only had swords when I saw them in the cutscene thing, but... What? Did I pick up the swords? Why would... That's a weird thing for it to highlight. Is there some secret room that can be unlocked if you put all the swords on the pedestal? She can't pick it up. Whoa. Thanks, mouse. Interesting. Oh. Ramsey's stochastic eyes. Didn't even see that painting there. Alright. One last look. Is there anything below us, next to us in the building? Nope. I think we got everything. Good. Oh, some people over there by the fire. We've got... Three guards, and then an elite guard that I saw wandering around. There's somebody in the guard house. So there's that. Um... See, that's the station. Let's see what's over this way. Doesn't actually look like anything. There's the black market shop, but we have to get across the guard pass to get to that. Should have listened to mom and become a hairdresser. <laughs> my mind on my duties. Forget about that kiss. Oh, that kiss. This whole business has me on pins and needles. Jumpy as anything. All right. Let's see who we can domino chain. So can we get him? All right, now those two are hooked together. That guy's gonna see us, so as soon as he turns around, maybe we can get this guy? Or alternatively, we can kill the guy pacing. Um. Can I domino multiple people at the same time? Okay, the range on this domino is a little limited. Which is unfortunate. Ugh, those guards are gonna be annoying. Yo, sure, yeah, he knows how to talk with the boss. For the lick spittle. Alright, I need to find a bottle. I think there was a bottle upstairs. That I can use to lure that one guard farther down the street. Um, no, that's a teapot. Oh, there's nothing up here I can throw? Really? I mean, I can just shoot him. Ugh. Yeah, something does feel wrong. There's an assassin about who's trying to figure out how to get down to you. What the? 
When the Grand Guard go into the place and see it packed solid with blood flies, they burn the building to the ground. And the ones on either side. They may just smoke flash it. Either way, the jewels will be ruined. Ooh, jewels. We're not getting our money, are we? Have some faith. It'll just be more complicated than I thought it would be. The Dukes let the blood flies get out of hand this year. Am I ever gonna catch a break? Nobody's looking out for nobody right now. We'll go back tonight and dig the jewels out. After that, we'll make a quick exit from Karnaka. Interesting. Do tell more. You want advice? Don't drink from the canal. <laughs> Thank you. <gasps> mm. Are you covering Careful your with face? that sword. The Grand Keep Guard the dust won't out? like it. I work at the processing plant, so unless you need <coughs> rail guts, oh, you I can't help for? you. Your face is covered. Are you worried <coughs> someone oh might God. recognize you? Don't bother looking life. for work at the docks. Just tried. No luck. I repair broken mining equipment. So unless you need a second-hand pickaxe, I can't help you. I mean, I could try killing people with a pickaxe. I'm just gonna steal some of your carrots. Mmm, delicious. There's all kinds of goodies in this building. Anything else down here? I'm gonna head up and see what's upstairs in this building. I think there might be some blood flies or something. What's this door? Random apartment. Yeah, I could open it. Some mice and a locked door. So there must be another way to get into that. I assume if I had the rat walk, I could get around. Let's see if there's anything interesting in here. Ooh, fancy. Oh, there is a black bone charm in that room. So we might have to invest our runes into shadow walk, because I don't think there's another way in. Unless there's another balcony I can get into from this one. Oh, hello! We found a safe. Note from Corey Brockburn. Janice! Find everything in the safe. I've written the combination in the usual place. You know where to look in the office. I changed all the safe tumblers recently because I feel like I'm being followed. Pretty sure I heard shuffling and heavy breathing from somewhere nearby in the dark while I was closing up the office for the night. It's not the Grand Guard this time, but we're being watched for certain. It's probably safer to postpone our next gathering. Can you warn the others? I'll leave for Calero when I'm done with today's clients. Interesting. Jackpot! All right, so it's written somewhere in the office. Is it in the painting? No. Where is your secret written? Oh. Six, zero, something. All right, well, that only takes 10 numbers, so I think I can just brute force this. And there we go. Score. Gathering of the Regenters. Second day, month of timber, 1851. All members present. Primary agenda, possible actions for the upcoming anniversary of the death of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Posed by Corey Brockburn, letter to the Karnaka Gazette, explaining that while her murder was reprehensible, the end results may have been positive for the Empire. Action motion approved unanimously. Posed by Janice Tynes, members wear Lord Regent's crest armbands on the anniversary. Objection by Corey Brockburn, lovely idea, but it may hurt business for members who have to deal with many clients on that day. Clients might find it in poor taste. Four votes against three in favor. Counterproposal, armbands could be worn on the 15th anniversary of the Lord Regent's unlawful arrest. Motion approved unanimously. Proposal by 
Tedoro Benitez, campaign demanding wider deployment of Wall of Light, brought back into use in Karnaka by Duke Luca Bell. The boldest measures are the safest. Vote delayed until word comes from a Grand Guard leadership. Collecting facts on reductions in crime across Kanaka. Proposal added to agenda for next gathering. Cocktail and spirits served. Interesting. So, apparently the Lord Regent has a following? That's interesting. Ooh, flammable. Nothing in there I can grab. Well, this could help me with my uh, double guard problem. So I'm just gonna hang on to this. Don't mind me, I'm just walking down the street with some rum. Ooh, hello, upper balcony. Um, no one take my rum? Gonna leave it right there. <coughs> also, I could probably just walk around behind the wall of light that way, but, uh, yeah. We're playing high chaos, so we gotta kill the guards. Ooh, shiny things. You must have rent on time? Maybe I just won't pay it all. Spy Master's Axis of Asymmetry. Man, Sokolov really named those things. Like, he put some time into that naming. Southern Winds, we've read that. Child Empress. Ooh, let's read about us. Definitive moment when people stopped calling Emily Caldwin the Child Empress. It came after the ambush by the Regenters, an extremist group who wanted to turn Dunwall to the authoritarianism of the Lord Regent's time. On the way back to Dunwall Tower, Caldwin's carriage was blocked between two gates, with her attackers firing pistols and even throwing a grenade. The Lord royal protector too far away to be of service, the young empress, only 14, found herself all alone in the carriage, save for her friend, Alexei Mayhew. Caldwin's supporters are lucky that Mayhew was there, as she was brave enough to grab a grenade that had landed at her feet, throwing it back at the assailants and saving the empress. When one of the men dropped down from the forward gate, it was Emily Caldwin who yanked free a short railway brace and beat the man senseless with it. Nice. With the city watch closing in, the two girls held their ground against the debris of the carriage until the situation was secure. It was said that Emily Caldwin refused to have the Regenters executed for their crimes, and this is hailed by many as her first adult decision as Empress. Cited for her heroic actions, Alexei Mayhew was commissioned by the city watch when she turned 18, and later made captain by Emily Caldwin herself. Interesting. Bango Coastline. At more Sokolov's Pandisian adventure. People playing cards. No one else seems to be home. Ah, here's our bone charm. Ooh, it's the black one, too. So we didn't need to spend our points on the uh, Shadow Sneak Rat Possession combo just yet. There's some good stuff in here. Mmm, some carrots. Okay, they have gigantic rabbits. Like, that's like a two, three foot long rabbit. Like, seriously. Mmm, <gasps> crystal apple. Conservatory closure extended. Ooh, representative for the Royal Conservatory confirmed today that the site's closure has been extended once again with no promise when it might reopen. Kirita Bren Brianna Ashworth could not be reached for, a com for comment. Readers will remember that an infestation of mites in the Roseboro exhibit forced the closure nearly six months ago, though there have been rumors that no exterminators have been hired. The Roseboro exhibit was to be a prestigious event sponsored by the Academy of Natural Philosophy with hopes of attracting numerous experts and guest lectures from across the aisle. This important ex exhibition is now on hold indefinitely due to the extended closure. For hopeful visitors, there's nothing to do but wait for further word. Huh, interesting. I wonder if we're going to visit there. Well, there's another flannel liquid down below. So I think we'll go grab that and use it to kill the guards on the next episode of Dishonored. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you next time.